Hi everybody and welcome to part six of my Tiffany & Company collection. Today I'm going to share all of my leather goods with you. So that includes handbags, wallets, and a few other accessory items. And I thought I would just kind of share the wear and tear of some of these items. Some I've had for a really long time and used them daily. Others I've kind of kept in their boxes and really only used them here and there. So if that sounds interesting, stick around and we'll get started. So here we have a leather jewelry roll in the beautiful Tiffany blue color. You can see just kind of a snap buckle. So beautiful. And this is a really soft like micro suede that it's lined with. And so you have this little snap section for rings, one compartment that is large, it's about the size of the entire roll, and then a little bit smaller compartment here. So you can do bracelets, necklaces, rings. This is so great for travel. Uh, it's just a really beautiful little accessory. I like to throw this inside of my bags as well. Um, just so pretty. You can see um, when you undo this here right here, it's stamped with Tiffany & Company leather Spain. That back side. This is in a smooth calf skin. Next up are the planners or date books. Uh, this is the smallest size. This is so great to slip into a handbag or your backpack, something like that. It's just a really great travel size. And this is the newest. One, I got this just this year, as you can see, it's 2020 on there. Um, but I do have a collection of some of my older desk diaries just to kind of show you there are some differences. Um, this is the desk diary size. So this is just one size up and then they do make an even larger size. Uh, but as you can see, this one's from 2014 and it didn't have any embossing on the side where the new model here has 2020 and this little Tiffany & Company embossing. It's actually also a different type of leather grain. You can see the grain on this one. Hopefully my camera's picking that up. It's kind of like a classic pebbled grained leather where this one just has a really a different texture. Um, so I don't know if it's, a, if it's a different type of leather that they're using, but just something I noticed. And what's great, these desk diary ones come with these beautiful maps in the back that I love. I just think they're gorgeous. So that's one of the reasons why I keep these, even though this is an outdated year, it's all leather. It's still really beautiful to kind of set and decorate with. It looks beautiful on a bookshelf. And I have two more just in the black color. Um, this one's very beat up, <laughs> but just to kind of show you again, the difference between these. And this one did also have the maps in the back, which I really loved. And unfortunately, this year, the desk diary does not have that. So I'm not sure why they chose to get rid of those maps. Maybe it's because we all have smartphones and they're really kind of unnecessary, but they were really beautiful. So I'm a little sad that they took the colored maps out of these, but in any case, I think this is just a great planner, great to jot down your to-do list each day um, and fits right in your handbag. All right, now this piece here, I love. This is the clutch in Tiffany blue and it has this little turn lock here. You open it up and there's a little slip compartment as well as a front compartment. And this chain is removable. So if you want to carry it just as the clutch with no chain, um, that's a great option. And this little lock, if you can see, has this little Tiffany blue enamel, which I think is so pretty. Um, but I've worn this to multiple weddings. It just adds a really great pop of color, especially in just like a little black dress. It's so beautiful. And this is in a very smooth calf skin. You see I have a few little marks on this piece um, but i've had this for about 10 years and like i said i've worn it to multiple weddings and i think it's holding up really well actually um, those are really the only little marks i have are those two marks on the front there 
but so, so beautiful. I think it's a great size as well. Here we have the Dahlia bag, I believe this was called, in the Tiffany blue, in the grained calfskin leather. And this has silver tone hardware. And this little front opens up just like that. And the interior is a silver. I kind of have it stuffed here with some other dust bags. Um, but most of the leather items do come with, you know, leather care cards with just little information about how to take care of different um, different types of leather, canvas, etc. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, but yeah, so the interior is this metallic silver. And it does come with this little strap that attaches to this a really adorable little pouch. It just connects to this little D-ring right here. So beautiful. And the interior here is a blue, more of a fabric, uh, just a single pouch. Uh, but it is so, so cute. I use this inside of other handbags. Um, I just love this as just a little catch-all or even a little wallet. Here's the back. Oh yeah, and then the sides, I love this little detail, have these little silver and Tiffany blue enamel rivets, I guess you could call them. And they have it on both sides, which I think is so cute. Um, and then the strap here is adjustable, which is great. So it has this little buckle here and you can adjust that strap drop and this is really more of a crossbody style um, the strap drop is a little bit long um, but you'll see that I'll, I'll add in some full try on shots for you um, but the only thing about this bag that I don't necessarily love is when you have this bag full because this clips together so tightly here this leather can kind of bulge out in sort of a strange way um, and you'll see that in the, the try-on shots that I show you. So that's really the only downside. And then a little tip, any of the silver tone Tiffany hardware, this is not sterling silver. However, if you take like a silver cleaning cloth, this is so dirty, but, um, and rub it, it actually does get rid of a lot of the tarnish on this hardware. So I don't know what metal this is actually made out of, but to my knowledge, this is not, it's not sterling, um, but yeah, I don't know if you can notice a difference there already, but it really does get rid of some of that oxidization that happens from just kind of leaving your bag out and not handling it enough. Um, yeah, that actually works wonders. So just a little tip, if you have any of these bags with silver tone hardware, um, the polishing cloths seem to do a great job cleaning those up. And here we have a little black grain leather pouch. It is a zippered pouch here. And this actually came with this tote bag you see back here. There's a little D-ring inside that you can attach it with. But I think this makes a great little pouch in really any handbag. But I also found a really great way to turn this into a little evening bag. So I found this little metal chain that looks really similar to the Louis Vuitton Felici chain. I actually picked this up at a, my local thrift store. Um, but I discovered that you can connect and you connect those there and turn this into a little crossbody. And I think it's so cute. I'll show a little try on of me wearing this as a crossbody. I don't know that it works with my outfit today, but imagine this with a little black dress. I think it's really, really cute. Um, yeah, so there's the zippered section and the interior is all suede leather. Um, it's really beautiful. It's a really thick, squishy, kind of buttery leather. It's super soft and has the gold Tiffany & Company right here. 
and it's just plain on the other side. Great little pouch. Next here is my black tote bag. And so this is all grained calf. You can see the back has this really cool stitching. It's actually where the interior pocket is, but I actually really like that they left this visible stitch. I think it's really, really cute. Um, and this bag is very structured, which I love. You know, so the handles do stand up on their own. They are a little bent just from putting it under your arm, but so cute. It has the gold little Tiffany here, just to kind of show you. And I have my silk tie here. It's kind of like a twilly if you're familiar with Hermes. So it's just a little silk necktie or scarf. And this is in the Tiffany blue with a few different um, jewelry collections featured. So there's the return to Tiffany pieces. There is, you know, you can kind of see here, there's part of a little atlas uh, piece, but yeah, so just so, so cute. I love this. I wear this as a hair tie, like a headband sometimes. So in the interior here, I do have it stuffed with air paper just to help keep it shape, but the interior is that black suede, just like the little pouch that comes with this. Um, and there is this interior pocket. Sorry, it's not focusing. I have this interior slip pocket. As well as the little D-ring here where you can attach the little pouch. So this came together as a set, but I love that I can kind of use this pouch as its own little bag as well. Now this bag is a little bit large, so it's a little hard to show you here. I'm hand-holding my camera. Uh, but this is a beige canvas bag with grained leather details. So the little top handles, as well as the detachable shoulder strap is in this blue, Tiffany blue grained leather. And then on the side, you know, we have the little silver tone Tiffany detail and the leather, these little side pockets. So this makes for a really great like summer beach bag or even a diaper bag. Um, and it has the little enamel details, which I love. So cute. The only thing about this bag is that it does pick up <laughs> lint or little um, things just because of the canvas. So I do have a little bit of staining here and I really haven't used it that much. Um, so just something to note with the light colored bags. I think I could probably get this out. Um, if anyone has <laughs> recommendations on how to clean canvas, let me know. Um, I would love to get your guys' input on that. And then on the inside, again, I have this stuff, but there is this zippered compartment. And then on this side as well, you can see, oops. on the side as well with the little Tiffany bar and all the little leather piping and detailing goes all along the inside. I'll just show you the bottom. The bottom is all grained leather, which is great. So when you're setting your bag down, you don't really have to worry about the canvas too much. I mean, I think these edges do touch the ground or where, you know, the surface of wherever you're setting it down, but I've been pretty careful with this. So it's still in, in fairly good shape. Very pretty, definitely a summertime kind of beach bag style.
Now this item here is well worn and well used. This is the Turnlock wallet. So it has that same mechanism as the city clutch that I shared with you. It still has that little Tiffany blue enamel accent there. And you can see how worn <laughs> this particular one has gotten. Um, but it's really great. This is a really spacious wallet. You can see there's a lot of card slots, a lot of interior compartments, and a full bill slit there, as well as a pocket on the back. Um, but you can just see here is a good example of sort of what the leather looked like when it was new versus <laughs> how dirty and how much wear this has gotten. And so this one, I this has been handled a ton, thrown in and out of bags, you know, picks up all the dirt from your fingers. So when this blue color starts to wear, you can kind of see here, this little dark area, that starts to show through. So just something to consider with the blue color pieces. I also have this item. This is an envelope wallet, also in the blue grained leather. And you can see this one has a lot of areas of wear here. Oh yeah, see, so this one is, I don't use this anymore because it just looks, it just doesn't look nice. <laughs> But um, when it was new, it was really beautiful. Just this blue, it's not colored all the way through the leather. So it really just starts to show through, which is not great. Um, but this is a great size wallet for a larger handbag. They do this in a ton of colors. I think both of these items in like a black leather would be amazing. I mean, you, these would wear amazingly. It's just that I chose the blue. Uh, so that tends to show, show wear a bit more. And here is just a closer look at my little silk ties here. I think these make great bag accessories. Like I like to tie them to the straps or you can kind of wrap them around a top handle and they look really cute. These also um, make beautiful headbands and little neckties. So this is the Tiffany Blue silk and then this this is a navy blue silk with this little diamond pattern all over so one side is all diamonds and then the reverse has a little tiffany and then tiffany and company oops, spelled out in that diamond pattern so so cute and this one's a little bit larger so let me just hold these up you can kind of see the size difference this one's just a little bit wider compared to this one, but so cute. So cute and classic. And these come in a ton of different color options and styles. I think Tiffany comes out with new versions of these all the time. So I love these. I love that you can just add a pop of that Tiffany blue to any handbag. It doesn't have to be a Tiffany bag. I think this looks beautiful with the Louis Vuitton prints. I absolutely love the combination of the Tiffany blue and the LV prints. So. Definitely love to mix my brands. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this item really qualifies as a small leather good, but I'm going to include it. So this is my blue leather ring box. Uh, Tiffany came out with these little ring boxes a few years ago, and when I saw it, I just thought it was so beautiful. I had to pick one up. So as you can see, the exterior here is this super soft Tiffany blue leather, and then the interior is the classic kind of velvet uh, material there. And this just looks so pretty sitting on your nightstand or near your jewelry box. I just love it. Just a really cute little accessory. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Tiffany Leather Good collection. Um, if you have any questions or want to see any other comparisons, just let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to do that for you. And I do plan to share my home goods next, which includes crystal items, coffee mugs, books, a few other little decor items. Um, so if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of other videos I plan on uploading soon. So once again, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.